This video is brought to you by Camera Plus. What's up YouTube, Saf here on Super Saf TV and welcome to episode 3 of the Ask Saf Q&A series. Now, I did say I'm going to do these regularly and I have been trying my best to keep these quite regular. So we've come to episode 3 which is pretty good and a big thanks to all of you for all your questions. Had loads and loads of questions and for each episode get loads so thank you for those. And also did the beard video uh, as requested in the previous Q&A video like a lot of you were requesting uh, a beard a video, a beard tips video and uh, had a huge response to that so thank you for that as well. So I'm going to stop waffling on so much and let's get straight to the questions. So now the first question, um, this is something that I get asked quite a lot on the channel is which smartphone has the best camera and we've got a specific question as well uh, from Shelly B which is favorite camera on a phone or what you like best in various, ca the various camera phones now the, f the f firstly in terms of what is the best camera smartphone out there um, that really comes down to your personal preference I do lots of side-by-side -side comparisons uh, to help you make a decision because everybody's personal preference is slightly different in terms of my personal favorites right now at this point in time so towards the end of 2014 the iPhone 6 plus and the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 so those are my two best smartphone cameras now there's uh, a few reasons for this um, and it, that's mainly because firstly they both take absolutely great images and video some of the best out there right now and you can see a side-by-side in-depth camera comparison that I have done on the channel but uh, there's a few features that are on one device which aren't on the other so for example the Samsung Galaxy Note 4 has 4k video with optical image stabilization which I think is absolutely awesome and it's definitely one of the best in terms of video at that resolution but the iPhone 6 and 6 plus have slow motion at 240 frames a second so there's no other device that is offering 240 frames a second you've got 120 frames a second but with that slow motion and that software it works really really well and I am a huge fan of this feature so for me those two have to be the favorites now moving on to the next question Hashim Kitty asks best phone in looks in your opinion so in terms of looks which is the best smartphone uh, I think it has to be the HTC One M8 uh, that is just one sexy phone it just looks so so good now because it is a full metal build in terms of the grip there's not much grip so as with the iPhone 6 plus it can be a little bit slippery to hold in your hand whereas if you've got a, a soft sort of touch back it's a little bit more grippy but th th that's a separate sort of thing there but in terms of just looks alone the HTC One M8 I mean hats off to the designers of HTC what an absolutely beautiful device it just looks premium and it just looks very very expensive like almost like a piece of jewelry or something it's just so awesome so uh, you know HTC One M8 definitely is the best looking phone for me right now next question uh, we've got from Joe Blackwell what is or are your favorite childhood movies childhood movies now um, I could probably name a few but the first one that comes to mind is The Goonies Loved it, loved Goonies, watched it so many times. The, the tape, because uh, it was back in VHS, this is back in the day. Some of you young kids might not have heard of VHS, so videotape. Uh, the tape was actually like kind of chewed up and the quality went really bad because we had watched it so many times, me and my brothers. Goonies, legendary movie. I'm sure there's a lot of other Goonies fans out there as well. If they are, then drop me a comment below and let me know. Okay, um, uh, Shan Mukha. Vihari asks 15 facts about you now I've already done a 20 facts you got five bonus facts there mate <laughs> um, uh, tw 20 facts about me video uh, I'll link that in the description below do go ahead and check that out uh, Gokul G asks what is your favorite mobile company and why um, I actually don't have a favorite mobile company uh, as you can see I mean I've got iPhone here Samsung Galaxy Note there for the Moto X um, I have no pre preferred you know manufacturer or brand as such um, there is nothing like that I mean there's lots of elements that I like from different devices I don't have one particular favorite brand because not any company has the you know has everything ticked off and this is something that's great because we have so much competition is what drives these companies to do better but I don't have any particular favorite as such. Before we move on, just a quick thanks to our sponsor. Today's episode is sponsored by Camera Plus, an app which lets you get much more from your iPhone and iPad cameras. Features include AirSnap, which allows you to pair two devices together and capture shots remotely, private folder, which locks your personal pictures away from the view of others, and many, many more. Available in the Apple App Store, a link will be in the description below, or you can head over onto the App Store and search for Camera Plus. So moving on to the other question, so Dorian ZXZ 
asks iPad mini versus iPad mini 3 please now this is something that I've had a few people ask um, thing is nobody's really not any other reviewers as well haven't really done a comparison video between the iPad mini 2 and the iPad mini 3 and the reason for that is the only difference is touch ID and the fact that you've got a gold option on the iPad mini 3 so that's it really in terms of my opinion which one should you go for I would advise going for the iPad mini 2 because it's about $100 cheaper roughly about 80 pounds I think somewhere around there but it is quite a bit cheaper compared to the iPad mini 3 and you are paying quite a bit for touch ID and a gold version so you know I would advise grabbing a bargain with the iPad mini 2 which is still a, a great tablet and it's for a, a good price now as well so if you are an iPad fan and you want to get an iPad and you want a small iPad then I would advise the iPad mini 2 if you want a small iPad with touch ID and a gold version then you know and you want to spend that money if you think it's worth it then that's entirely up to you and there's also the iPad Air 2 so if you're looking for a larger iPad the iPad Air 2 is also a great tablet now moving on to the next question C Woozy, that's how I'm gonna say it. I'm not sure how to actually say that. Uh, what is your favorite uh, food and or drink? Now, in terms of food, I'm an absolute foodie. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you need to go ahead and follow me on Instagram, uh, SuperSaf TV. I'm on there, and I post lots of pictures of food. Um, um, I'm personally, uh, I'm a bit of a carnivore, really. I, I absolutely love meat. Sorry for all the vegetarians out there. And I like to mix the meat up, so I like mixing beef and lamb and chicken all together, uh, which some people might find a bit weird. And does anybody else do that? Drop me a comment below. Let me know. Am I the only one that likes mixing meat? Uh, uh, and I love junk food so um, in terms of specific favorite I love steak, pizzas, burgers. If I was to pick just one it'd be burgers. Now I've actually, what's funny is I've actually got, uh, me and my friends have actually got a, a, a specific burger that's named uh, after us uh, in a place called Rock 66 which is in Birmingham which is close to where I live. Uh, you know it's just a city that's uh, close to my city and um, it's called the 3BM TV special and it's a, a combination of Cajun chicken Mediterranean chicken and roast beef which has been slow cooked for six hours absolutely amazing I mean sorry I just kind of zoned out there for a second it's just awesome and um, I love that combination I love mixing up some meat which uh, some people uh, find kind of weird but uh, I absolutely love doing that uh, uh, that is definitely my favorite and I said uh, I'm a big foodie and I post lots of pictures of food so if you're interested in, then go ahead and give me a follow on Instagram uh, the next question is sort of related uh, Pearl Daisy asks what is your favorite vegetarian dish now as I said I am a carnivore so I don't really eat any vegetarian dishes I love chips though I absolutely love chips and, and I have that with pretty much well, the meat that I have is it's a nice side. Uh, no, it doesn't count as a full dish, but absolutely love chips. Um, now, last question. We'll call this the last question because uh, time is going. Let me see what we're on. Yeah, yeah, time is going. I uh, don't, don't want this to be too long, so we'll, we'll call this the last question. Tabby688 asks If you were the richest man on earth, what would be the first piece of tech that you would buy? Let me read that out again. If you were the richest man on earth, what would be the first piece of tech that you would buy? Uh, that's an interesting question. It would be a hoverboard. Yes. I know they don't exist as yet, but if I was the richest man on earth, uh, I'd, I'd make them exist. I, I'd, I'd make sure they made me a freaking hoverboard. I want a hoverboard. And uh, I, although those other ones, you know, some of the prototypes, someone that there's, I saw one on the verge where it's uh, you have to have it on copper ground. I want a proper hoverboard. And Robert Zemeckis, you're a for keeping my hopes up all these years and giving me false hope of having a hoverboard. I went to the hoverboard when I was a kid and I was looking forward to getting one and it's going to be 2015 and we still don't have any hoverboards and I'm really really annoyed about that uh, and I'm sure a lot of you are as well. After watching Marty McFly Back to the Future 2 on that pink hoverboard, I don't even care if it's pink, I'd still have it. Um, you know, I've always always wanted one and we still don't have hoverboards and that is what I would get. Um, I don't care if it's unrealistic but I want a hoverboard. But anyway, um, that was the Q&A series. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for all your questions once again. If you've got any questions for the next episode, which I will be doing in hopefully uh, around about two weeks, then drop them in the comment section below or on Twitter. You can use the hashtag AskSaf. Now, if you want to keep in touch with me up until that time, then you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus and Instagram. Those links will also be in the description below. So do go ahead and give me a follow on there. I hope you enjoyed this video on Found Eso. If you did, then please do hit that thumbs up button for me it really does help me out I really enjoy do making these videos it's, it's, it's a nice way of uh, kind of being myself and uh, you know and I have to put my um, 
professional voice on as I do for videos. Do I do that? Do I sound different in this one? I don't know. But anyway, uh, thanks for watching. This is Saf on Super Saf TV and I'll see you next time. If you want to see more regular videos like this one, then be sure to hit the subscribe button which will be below. If you're on a mobile device, it may be somewhere else. If you want to see my previous related video, then hit the link right here. If you want to stay in touch over Facebook, Twitter and Google+, then all of the addresses will be there somewhere, as well as direct links in the description below. Okay, if you're still watching, then that means you've not done one of those things, so... Anyway, um, I'm just I'm just gonna go up downstairs. See. Okay, um, there isn't really a downstairs. Anyway, so yeah.